Hey guys, Supervisory Team here. In this video, I'm going to talk about image retrieval and how to solve this task in our platform using Clip Model by OpenAI. Let's start. But before we go any further, what even is an image retrieval task? Let's say you have a large database containing thousands or even millions of images, and you want to take a specific data sample out of it. But doing so manually would be too exhausting and will take too much time, of course. So you need a tool that does this job automatically. This task is called image retrieval, also known as image querying or image filtering. And in our ecosystem, we have a model that solves this task. It is called Clip by OpenAI. With the use of this model, you could filter images by prompt, similar to searching images through a web browser. So let me show you how to use it. So here I have my relatively small data set of 400 images, but as I've already said, it could be well over a thousand or even 10,000 or even million images. And as we can see, most of these pictures are fixed, but not every image in this data set is relevant to fix exactly, as we can see in, let's say, this photo. So I need a way to filter all these images for them to be relevant to my query. Let's go into the ecosystem, go to the start menu and into the neural networks page. Here we can scroll down and go into the classification tab and scroll down once again. And here we have a prompt based image filtering with clip application. Let's launch it. As an input, I would want to select my dataset. And in advanced settings, I would want to run it on this agent. Let's run. So right now the application is started, but if you launch the application for the first time on your agent with certain applications, it is sometimes required to pull a Docker image, which could take some time. So don't be scared if your application takes some time to launch. So let's open. Now I need to select an input data set. Here I need to select a neural network that will be used. I will choose this one because it has a high accuracy percentage while having a relatively small model size. Here we can configure batch size, but I will leave it on default and uh, disable the just-in-time compilation if you want to. Now into the inference tab. So here we can enter the text prompt for inference. I would want to filter all the images with uh, fix fruit on my data set. So here I can type fix. And now we can press start inference button. Okay, so inference has successfully been finished. Now we can see the image scores by prompt chart. So on the X axis, we can see the amount of images and on the Y axis, we can see the confidence of the model. We can scroll a little bit further and here we have a table that is containing all the images in our data set with some basic information about them and the confidence of the model that the prompt that we have entered is relevant to the image itself. Let's see the highest confident image. Okay, so here we see a close-up image of a fig fruit. So in this table, all the images are sorted by the confidence by highest to lowest. So from most relevant images to the least relevant images. So now we need to find a confidence threshold that will suit us. So let's say that I want all my images to be 0.2 confidence and above. Let's see what a 0.2 confidence image looks like. Okay, so here we have 
a point to confidence image. Uh, as we can see, there are fix. I would say this is a pretty good image. Let's see what a point 15 confidence looks like. So here we have a point 15 confidence. And here I think this image is not really relevant for us. So let's go a little bit in between, let's say point 17 confidence. Here we have a point 17 confidence. And this picture is not suitable for us either. So let's look for a higher confidence image. Here we have a point 18 confidence. And as we can see, there are a couple of fix on this picture. So I would say that point 18 confidence is optimal for us. Now we can head over to the output section. And here I want to filter my images, not sort them. And here we can configure the threshold of images that are going to be saved. Let's put point 18 there and select that we want to keep the images that are above this threshold. Now we can configure if we want to create a new project for these images or add them to an existing project. I will create a new one. And uh, here we can also choose the name for a result data set. Now we can configure if we want to add a confidence threshold for these images. I will check it. Now we can press save. As we can see, we have 258 images that are going to be saved right now. And now we can head over to the filtered images. And as we can see, pretty much every image here features fix that are really apparent on them. We can go into the random image and here we have a confidence tag. Uh, here it says that it has value of 0.24 confidence. So as I've just shown you, Clip Model by OpenAI is a really powerful tool that lets you take a data sample by just prompt really, really quickly. If you have a similar task to what I've just did, I encourage you to try it out for yourself in Supervisely. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. And if you have some questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.